I had an idea to do a drop of water on a rose thorn, and I wanted to do kind of a heart behind it, but uh, in the process of attempting to cut out a heart and uh, whatnot, I kind of melted my red gel on the lens, so this will be plan B. I'm going to put a water droplet on the uh, thorn, and then I'm going to actually hold a rose behind it and see if I can get a uh, lensed kind of image inside of the water droplet. So, first step is set up. I have a big soft box up top. I have a speed light behind that will eliminate the rose itself. Um, a stem and a hook. Camera, macro lens, 100mm macro lens, basically at one to one on the rose thorn. And uh, now we need to get some water droplets onto the actual thorn. So now we just try to get the right kind of water droplet on our thorn. So now we have a water droplet on our thorn. Next step is to check our focus. Focus is good. Test shot. Our focus is good, so now we're going to hold our rose. I have a, just a dried old dead rose. We're going to hold that behind and try and find composition that I like. Try a bunch of different angles with this and see what we come up with. So, here were the rose shots that I came up with. Um, a bunch, these were my first attempts with the heart before I melted my gel. Um, so, let's see here. These were kind of my two favorites. Uh, this was my actual favorite, so I did a little bit of uh, developing on it. Didn't really do much to it at all, just uh, adjusted some colors. Pretty simple edit, a little bit of clarity, a little bit... Actually, that was about it. So I, I liked the composition, I liked the colors, I liked everything about it. Lens flare came from the flash behind it, that was natural. The one thing was the beauty dish outline right there, the reflection. I kind of wanted to get rid of that, so I took this photo into Photoshop and removed it. That was the only edit I made in Photoshop. Other than that, this is right from the camera. So I hope you found this informative. Bye.